Metal tubes, similar to the ones seen here, ready to be dropped from a plane, are sonar buoys. Australian authorities are hoping sonar buoys could finally pinpoint where, potentially miles beneath the ocean, Malaysia Airlines Flight 370's debris rests. And if they do, it will make for a remarkable tale of military technology being deployed for a task they were never designed to handle. These buoys' day job? Locating enemy submarines. Now they're moonlighting in the hunt for Flight 370. Why are they needed? The pinger locators trawling the waters over 650 miles off Australia's coast originally heard the pings coming from what searchers suspect is Flight 370's black box, but they can only scan around 18 miles per day. The sonar buoys search a wider area, and if they detect the pings, could be used to triangulate the black box's location. How do they work? They're dropped in a pattern across the search area, spaced around 16 miles apart. The buoys unspool wire to a depth of a thousand feet. Whatever the microphone at the end hears is relayed by radio signal to a communications plane flying above. 370's black box signal would only be getting weaker, its battery by now likely drained. And if it dies, with its location still unknown, a wide, slow seafloor search would begin that could potentially take months.